Hi, Hentim, Nicholas speaking, and before we start, I would like to welcome you to the very first Hentim video. I will explain later if this channel is going to work. For now, it's time for our video. We're going to take a look at a question that some of you might have asked yourself before. What's my body made of? And it's possible that a lot of you guys already have the answer to this question, but we're going to take a look at our bodies from the human scale, things that we can perceive, and from there move to do very little. First thing first, our body is made of organic matter, obviously. Human and all earthlings are made of it, and it's mostly based on carbon. This can give you an idea about how important carbon is, but sadly we won't have time to explore this scale further for now. Let's go to another scale. If I take my basic organic matter and I make something in order to see which molecule is the most present in our body, the result would be, without any surprise, water. And by far, water is the main component of a lot of species, including us, humans. This combination of two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen is indispensable to human life. Indeed, our body is composed of approximately 65% of water. So, are we a flabby bag of water? Yes. For atoms, oxygen is the most present one with 65% of the human's body total weight being the weight of oxygen in our bodies. It's followed by carbon with 18%, hydrogen with 10%, nitrogen with 3%, calcium with 1.5%, phosphorus with about a percent. There are other but in very little quantities such as lead, sulfur or even arsenic. But let's go to an even smaller scale. What is any atom made of? There are two parts, the nucleus which concentrates almost all the mass of an atom and the electrons, almost massless particles that basically kind of revolve around the nucleus, I said kind of because it's not really the good term to use. The nucleus is made of nucleons, which are protons and neutrons. A proton has a positive charge while a neutron has no charge and an electron has a negative charge. Altogether they equilibrate the charge of an atom. It's believed that electrons are elementary particles which means that they cannot be cut off. But protons and neutrons are made of something even smaller. Quarks. There are two kinds of quarks people would say. Not really, but only two of the multitudes of quarks that exist are interesting for us right now. So I'm not going to talk about quarks color or stuffs. Down quarks with a charge of a negative third and up quarks with a charge of two positive thirds. There are two down quarks and one up quark in a neutron that make him have no charge. For the proton there is one down quark and two up quarks that give him a positive charge. So we are a huge mountain of quarks. And there you are. You finally know what are the main components of everything you are. Oh, do you? Because even today, no one knows if there is something inside the quark. And the string theory, also known as the theory of everything, tells us that the quarks or even electrons are made of strings of energy that can oscillate to form everything. So, are we made of those strings or not? We cannot really know for now, but let's hope we will find out soon. Although I lied, we are not only composed of strings, but also vacuum, because atoms are made of more than 99% of vacuum. Sorry about the white lie. I'll cover topics that I had not time to do later in all those videos. You can submit your own ideas on our Facebook page that I highly suggest you to like, or in the comments down below, and subscribe to our channel to be aware of new videos, news about the channel or else. You can find the links to everything in the description below. Thanks for watching, and until next week, good luck.